Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. In today's video, I'm going to be touching on Madden 24. I got a brand new league about gameplay that is very important in pretty much every game mode that you guys are going to want to hear. And I also have some new information about the new Superstar KO mode or the Superstar mode that's in Madden 24 that actually looks like it's pretty cool. It looks pretty promising. So I'm going to go over those two things and a couple more things. But as always, if you guys want to follow me throughout the Madden 24 year, the game drops in about five days, uh, five to five days to eight days depending on when you're getting it but the game's going to be out soon i'm going to be putting out a lot of offenses and defenses and tip videos throughout the entire year so if you want to follow Woo! make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that let's go let's get right into it the leak that i'm talking about it comes from mutt leaks which is a very popular twitter handle doesn't really tweet a lot but when they do it's pretty much on point it almost makes me think that somebody from ea or somebody very close to ea runs this twitter account but i've mentioned them several times throughout the years in my videos as they're a very reputable source now they say flat out i'll just read the tweet Madden 24 brings massive changes to abilities. Now, abilities, when it was instituted, a lot of people have an issue with uh, how overpowered they were, and this goes directly to the heart of that. It says, in the past, many ability override mechanics guaranteed an effect. It gave a guaranteed effect. In Madden 24, most of the ability overrides have been changed to chance-based, uh, which is very interesting. So basically, abilities are hit or miss. It's not like it used to be where you got a guaranteed effect. Basically, now, if you have, like, you know, Stiff Arm Master or something, I don't, I don't know the name of the ability just off the top of my head, because to be honest with you, they don't really determine how I use my team or, or whatever. But in the past, it was a guaranteed thing. If you had an ability, you would do it every single time, where now it's more 50-50, and it could happen, it could not happen, which will definitely be a improvement for people that were complaining when the abilities came out that the game felt too much like an arcade game all of a sudden or like you know blitz used to be nfl blitz used to be back in the day where you're just like tossing guys around and you know guys with abilities would basically be like superheroes amongst men that really feels like it's, it's been brought down it says also paired with lower stats and boost this should bring more organic balanced gameplay so there's a couple things there when it says guaranteed effect it says override mechanics those things talk like uh, animation-based uh, things, which is another thing people have been complaining about for even longer than actual, um, you know, just basically the overriding superstar abilities. People have always complained about they want less animations, less, less uh, animation-based driven gameplay, which this sounds like it's going to do that based off the fact that it's saying it's more chance-based. And if you followed the Madden 24 uh, formula at all or any of the information coming out about Madden 24, they talk about how, you know, DB wide receiver battles are really like a big thing this year. And I, I hope that it's really talking more about that because in years past, if you triggered a certain animation, you would just get it every single time. There wasn't a lot you could do as a defender to knock a ball out if a guy's, you know, doing an aggressive catch. And I mentioned that in my last video, which I have a link in the description and at the end of the uh, at the end of this video, where I said flat out that they, you know, basically said that um, aggressive catching is toned down and that you don't you can't necessarily just trigger those aggressive catches. Like a lot of people in last year's game, they knew how to trigger those aggressive catches, making it almost impossible to stop. So this really sounds like it addresses two major things that are major complaints in the Madden community. Number one, the abilities being overpowered, and number two, the animations being overpowered and being too prevalent in the game. This sounds like it's going to address both of those and make both of them less prevalent. Now, they also put out a superstar deep dive today, and this isn't necessarily something that I usually um, am interested in, but it is something that a lot of people are interested in, and it actually looks really cool. It almost looks like NBA 2K's like My Player Story or something like that, which we won't really know until we actually play it, but there are a lot of things added to this that a lot of people have been asking for for a very long time. More specifically, an NFL Combine, which has been like something that a lot of people have been saying for a very long time. This year, it looks like your story, or your story pretty much starts out at the NFL Combine, which is something that I don't ever remember seeing in a Madden game. And that looks really cool. It shows you going through some of the drills, like 20-yard shuttles and uh, things like that. It shows them doing the mini game for the 40 time, where you're basically just hitting the left trigger and the right trigger over and over again. Uh, to try to pick up your speed, which I don't know if this is going to determine how good of a player you are in these categories. Like if you get a bad 40 time, you're going to be a slow player. If you get, if you do bad on the bench, are you going to be a, a a weak player? Certain position strength really matters. Like if you're playing, you know, defensive line or something like that, you're really going to want high strength. So it's going to be interesting to see how this affects your character as you create it. But at the same time, it looks like a lot of fun because, like I said, a lot of people have been asking for the bench to come back. I think the bench was in the game like 10, 15 years ago, and you can now do that again in the game. So I think that's really cool. That that alone makes me interested in this game to see how that 
works out. And if it does affect your stats overall, how well you perform in those things, which makes sense, it should, it's going to put extra emphasis on that first step and trying to really, you know, go through that a bunch of times and maybe learn how to do that to a point where, you know, you can actually get the character that you want in uh, in your my player. So that's going to be very interesting. Uh, you go through an interview at the Combine, which is, it looks like you're being interviewed in front of reporters, but in reality, I think you're usually interviewed by individual teams. But at the end of the day, they go through an interview that gives you like an actual football IQ test. If I pause the screen here, you can see that they're asking you a question about which personnel alignment indicates two wide receivers, one running back, and two tight ends on the field. So basically, um, they're giving you like a real-life NFL test. I know a lot of people will comment that people don't really know football. They just play Madden. Uh, this is going to be something that actually rewards you for your actual football knowledge if you're going through a test like this, which is really cool. After that, I mean, like I said, you get drafted. Uh, you play a game like you normally would. You're just going to be playing as the quarterback or whatever position that you uh, decide to do. They have um, they show a lot of different things like you know celebrations you could do, uh, your Twitter account, which is kind of kind of basic in games. Now, like I said, it's a lot like 2K where you just have like real life NFL players names tweeting about you and stuff like that um, you know analysts and stuff like that they even go as far as to say that they have videos of um, you know players that uh, you know like Ryan Clark who is an analyst now um, doing you know a Madden cast talking about your success as a player and stuff like that and you know all that stuff just seems kind of like a throw in like I said after the combine I don't really know how much interest I have in it because if I want to play the game I'll just play the game but you can play you know throughout an entire career as a person you can build your player up the same way you can like a player in a franchise mode unlocking abilities and stuff like that and then you can at the end of the day once you boost your character up enough you can take him into an online what looks like a seven on seven drill and basically um you know there's no defensive lineman there's just you know you're just out there covering routes which it's kind of me look to me it looks kind of stupid like this isn't football you know what i mean at the end of the day football is 11 on 11 if i want to play like a seven on seven drill or something like that i just go into practice mode and, and take off the defense or something it just i just don't get that part you know the actual part that they're trying to replicate park just doesn't necessarily work for me i mean two like like i don't know i played pickup games with two three people that makes sense you don't always have that five on five basketball but in football it feels like you need that so to me i'm not really feeling the actual park uh, aspect but the park environment does look really cool like if you look at the uh the, the neon lights and everything like they really did a good job as far as making it look cool but like i said i just don't to me that's not football to me football's got to be like an 11 on 11 i don't know not a huge fan of the actual park but like i said it looks cool enough that i might give it a try i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there i don't want this video to be too long but definitely a lot of really cool things in this video and in this uh you know in this breakdown like i said i wish that they would make a game mode of 11 on 11 with the backdrop of all the cool stuff going on in this whatever this you know this park knockoff is because it looks amazing like the graphics look awesome looks so futuristic um you know that i could deal with but i just can't deal with like it's like three on three football which just doesn't really you know it doesn't really work for me uh but let me know in the comment section what you guys think i will have a pop-up of the last video i made about man 24 popping up on the screen if you guys want to check that out other than that, thanks for watching, man. Munch it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.